Hi there, it's Nicole for Lawn Fawn, and today I have a card featuring the stitched square stackables. And I have combined them with some of the, or one of the rectangle stitch stackables as well. And I'm going to go ahead and die cut the largest one from the small set of rectangle stitch stackables. And I'm going to die cut that from a piece of white cardstock. I'll set that aside for a minute, and then I'm going to take some scraps of paper from the uh, Pint Size Patterns Beachside Collection from Lawn Fawn. These are the six by six papers. And die cut one of these smaller stitched squares from a whole bunch of these papers. I'm going to use nine different designs, all um, ranging from navy blue to the kind of aqua to the lighter blue. I thought I, at first I might throw in some orange there and then I decided not to. I would stick with the blue color scheme, but I'm going to go ahead and die cut a bunch of these squares. One of the things I love about the stitched stackables from Lawn Fawn are how well they mix and match together. So I'm going to be using the square with the rectangle to create my own frame, custom made for my card. So instead of using something that maybe already is all pre-made for me, I can make any number of different window designs, which is what I'm going to do here, and actually have nine windows. So I'm using a T-square ruler to help me simply line up all of these pattern paper squares that I'm going to temporarily adhere to this rectangle using a little adhesive. I'm going to line up my first row really carefully because that's going to allow me to really line up any additional rows um, extremely easily. So I'm going to go ahead and start here with my middle and temporarily adhere that and I'm really just eyeballing it. I didn't measure it um, much more than using my ruler to hopefully get that first line lined up straight. Then I'm going to take that same die and place it over the square. That's going to allow me to really easily die cut these without having to try to figure out where to place it exactly. It, with that um, die cut square already in place, it will hold the die right where it needs to go and I'm gonna run it through the machine. And I'm gonna continue to do that for each of these squares. Now, I am gonna wanna use these pattern paper squares again, so I'm gonna have to peel off the white cardstock and just throw it away on the back, but I didn't use much adhesive, so it comes off really easily. I'm going to continue to do that for the next two rows so that I end up having a nice nine square frame that I can frame up a whole bunch of cute little critters with these little pattern paper backgrounds. Once I have all of those die cut, I'm going to go ahead and take my white card base and I'm not going to adhere my frame yet, but I am going to hold it where it's going to go and it and place adhesive in all nine of those squares and then go ahead and fill in each of those areas with those pattern paper die cut squares. I love the tone on tone with this. It adds interest because all of the squares are different, yet they're all in the same color family so it's not very distracting. Now I wanted, because the squares are so small, I wanted a bunch of small little critters to place in each of the squares. I chose the puppy, the little chick, the squirrel, the bumblebee, and the butterfly, butterfly from the Let's Play stamp set, um, and uh, the bird as well. And then I filled in a little bit later. The turtle is from the year two, I believe, stamp set. The snail is from Gleeful Gardens. And of course, the little hamster is from Wheelie Like You. So I'll add those here in a little bit. I started with these five first. And I'm just using some scrap paper to color in the critters. I'm only using about two, maybe three colors um, per color change on the little critters. They're pretty small. I purposely went with these smaller critters for this card design so that they would fit in those squares. So I kind of went through all of my Lawn Fawn stamp sets, tried to find uh, images of similar size and then filled them in. Go ahead and color in the little puppy. I went. Ahead, I did die cut the squirrel after I colored him in. I was so anxious to see how he looked behind the window that I went ahead and, and die cut him before moving on and coloring in the puppy. So I'll finish this little guy 
and it ended up I kind of die cut as I went I don't normally do that but I wanted to see if the idea in my head was going to translate to my card design and I was really happy with how it turned out I think there are so many great ways that you could take the same idea and use the other smaller dies inside of the bigger ones to create all kinds of different window configurations so really just so super fun I got too many dots there along the bottom of my chicks so I did go back and smooth those out with my turtle I ended up pulling in a couple more colors so that I kept his body and legs and the base of his shell lighter and then the little designs on his shell darker I used some of my favorite yellow greens in this uh, for him and just filled him in I really just went with whatever colors spoke to me for the critters and because all of the backgrounds are going to be some shade of blue I tried to keep the critters somewhat colorful some of them are you know more in the browns and neutrals family but otherwise I tried to implement some other colors the aquas the greens some yellows even a little pinkish or pink and red just to add interest and pops of color to the card for the bird, I did keep his little tummy area yellow and then colored in the rest of him with aqua. The first color I, I used for the yellow I thought was just a tad too light, so I ended up going in with my little bit darker Y11 and blending that out more to make, make his little tummy area more prominent. Go ahead and cut him out as well. I really did die cut as I went. This is not my usual... Uh, way of doing it but like I said I really was kind of trying to see how all of those little critters were going to work and fit in each of the squares so I did die cut a lot as I went here now for the antenna for the snail I originally colored him in pink but I just thought I I thought it just blended out too much so I went in with a little cool gray and colored those in and blended it into the head got my little bumblebee here and the fun thing about him is he has that little bumblebee trail that coordinates with that. So here in a little bit, I'm going to stamp that so that it goes from one window to another. Creates a little bit of fun movement on the card. This is a really simple card design, but it has lots of little elements included in it, but it's still fairly flat. So this is going to be a great card to send through the mail. This is my last little critter. Go ahead and duck at the butterfly here. Or get the dye ready and I'll color in the other little hamster really fast only using about a couple colors for him, for him and then a little R20 for the cheek I'll add some detail here in a little bit with for the eyes and the nose once I have all of these die cut I laid them out how I wanted them to go. I'm going to grab one of the greetings from the Let's Play stamp set, ink it up with black licorice ink, and stamp that right there, kind of off-centered to the right below my window pane. And then I am going to start attaching all of these little critters. And I want them, I don't want them to all be straight on. So the little chick is kind of hanging in from the corner. The puppy's peeking in from kind of diagonally. The squirrel's going to be peeking in diagonally. Here's that little bumblebee trail. I'm going to just pop up the window so that it goes from that center window to the one right next to it to the right. And then I can attach the bumblebee. And then I'll have the little bird standing on the window pane opening and the butterfly flying there in the middle. Here's the squirrel. He's going to be peeking in there from the corner. Have the little hamster running through his frame and then attach the snail coming down the side there. Once I have all the little critters in place, I'm going to go ahead and take some adhesive and glue that frame right in place. I placed a little liquid adhesive around the top and the two sides and then just some regular adhesive along the bottom and I'm using something heavy to hold that down until the glue dries. The last thing I'm going to do is add additional detail to the images. I'm going to use a black gel pen to color in eyes and noses and the little dots on the butterfly. 
And then I'm going to take a white gel pen and add some detail to the cheeks and to the little snail and things like that. Plus I'll use the Wink of Stella glitter pen to go over the bumblebee wings. Here's that white gel pen and I think it adds a lot of fun especially to the little snail tail here. Then I'll place it on some of the cheeks on some of the critters. And that is it for this card. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the new stitched square stackables dies as well as using one of the older stitched rectangle dies. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.